Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. It's an engaging and enlightening talk show on life, relationships, and the business of life. Grab a cup of juice and just chill. Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. Live life. Live fully. Hello, once again, my name is Amabola Steven, and welcome to Live Wallet for Amabola Steven. Now, if you want to catch up some of my missed episodes, you can search online for Live Wallet for Amabola Steven on any podcast distribution platforms, and there you go, have a worldwide listening experience on the go. So on today's show, I have a guest that is loved, respected, and admired by many in the global food industry. The global food and beverage industry talk of preparing amazing meals for President and First Lady Obama, Jay-Z, and Beyonce. Russia, 80s president elect Michael Martelly and more. So, welcome, Chef One Job. Now, Top Chef One, as it's fondly called, is the food and beverage director, executive chef at Amarillo Golf and Country Club. Beautiful. Now, thank you. The industry chef of the year 2019 award is also featured in the view of the Today Show Bite, as is Hollywood and others. As a restaurateur and expert in exotic flavors, Chef Ron Duprat has a zest for life that is well in the kitchen by passion for cooking. Now, welcome with me on Live World by Marvel Steven, Ron Duprat. Thank you. Excited to be with you. Thank you so much for coming, Ron. So, um, can I just meet you, please? Yes. Right. Ron Duprat, chef full of life and uh, mm. push the envelope every day to do something different, to have uh, my own ingredients, my own spice. This is my life, mindful eating for my beloved community and food justice. Correct. Thank you so much for that introduction. Now you focus on locally grown seasoned ingredients, impeccable presentation, and cutting hedge menu choices. Now I wanted to ask, is this a signature? Can you tell me more? Well, it's, uh, I cook seasonal. So what that mean? Does not matter where I go in the world? As a current ambassador for the State Department, I always respect every region. So it doesn't matter what region, whether I am in South Africa or whether am I am in Nigeria or in France or in Spain, mm. I cook mm. region. What does that mean? Uh, food, it's passion, food is love. Mm. So I always have respect for the ingredients respect for the community. So I will never take something different in France if I want to do a French dishes. So I will right. only use local ingredients and create mm. my own interpretations, the Afro-Caribbean. I will add that to it, but not bring nothing uh, uh, and to do a dish. So that's what I mean about cooking local ingredients and oh, work with farmers so they can grow the spice mm -hmm. I need and uh, uh, the protein they have. So that's what this is about. This is what makes me different than anyone else. Right. Thank you so much for that. Now you love giving back to the society now because really at the recent presidential election, you reach out to thousands of people by sharing food and drinks. Now, is this a mantra? Yes. I mean, this is... Uh, this election means so much to me. I mean, mm. uh, I always begging everyone to vote like their life is dependent on it. Uh, this mm. is the biggest in elections and, uh, in a lifetime. And uh, I want to do better I did in 2016. I want to do better nice. I did in 2012. I want to do better I did in 2008. My goal is mm. to get everyone to register and vote and their vote will make a difference. Our vote will be this election is going to be generation to come. Talk about uh, the first African American female vice president, 2024 to be president. So I have so much at stake. The stake is very high, and that's why I have been I have been campaigning all over the world, all over United States. I have shared food, as you know, with the coronavirus. I have cooked for the community, uh, cooked for the first responders. And try to get everyone to vote. Oh, great. Wish you best of luck. Thank you. Now let's talk about the World Central Kitchen. 
World Central Kitchen, it's the World Kitchen. What's that mean? Mm. That mean with the, the disaster, we are there to feed people. Uh, where there's the where there's Bahamas, the hurricane, where there's New Orleans, the hurricane, where there's Haiti earthquake, where there's the fire in Los Angeles, where there's the selections coming up, we are there mm. to serve the people. This is what we are about. Got it. So um, um, what, are, what are your achievements so far? Um, so far, I have been well received as I was mm. nominated currently amb current ambassador for the State Department to travel the right. world and talk about American mm. cuisine. So that gives me right. a platform and a voice so I can reach mm. out to millions of people across and abroad. Oh, right. Thank you so much. Now, now let's talk about your recipe. I wanted you to um, um, talk about the recipe and preparation for shrimp and snapper. Yes, it's uh, uh, some of my recipe is very simple. As you know, when I do recipe, I do recipe so people uh, can use my recipe as on my book, my journey of cooking around the pride. Everyone can get that Barnes and Noble or Amazon.com. So the recipe is about, doesn't matter where I'm at, whether I am in Nigeria or I am in Africa or I am in the Caribbean, if you have the protein, which is ocean. You get fish from the ocean. Everyone right. have access to the oceans. So everyone can get fish and fresh herbs and fresh ingredients. This is what my recipe is about. Nothing, right. nothing expensive, nothing like you need to go to a whole food markets or wherever mm. to get. So it's about the ocean, earth, everything meets at once. That's what right. my recipe is about. Okay. Now, what's the definition of fulfillment? Uh, what you say now? What's the definition of fulfillment? Fulfillment is uh, what we do as chefs. As we mm -hmm. take something in ingredients, whether, uh, uh, whether it's a, an onion or a carrots or mm -hmm. a celery, uh, thyme, rosemary, and we do this together, this is what it's about. Great. Thank you so much for the time. Now, at what phase of your life did you decide that you wanted to go back in your, um, to get an education? Well, in my career, I was doing very well. As a kid growing up mm. in Haiti, I come in and say there's a boat. I was doing mm. very well. My boss, thank you, was best. I attend the Carnegie Institute of America and I went to France to have a right. the cuisine. I think this is mm. the best uh, uh, decision I ever made. I think that paved my career. Uh, that get wow. me on Top Chef, a Nine Chef, a Barris, mm -hmm. Good Morning America, and became calling ambassador for the State Department. Right. So, amongst the many TV and medias you were featured in, because I knew that you were featured in so many of them, which of them has left the fondest memories for you? They, they all have memories because this is something I will cherish for the rest of my life to be able to be on, uh, 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 go to the Emmy with uh, Top Chef, uh, the SPs. And I think it's all equal to me because at the end of the day, they give me a voice and a platform I will cherish for the rest of my life. Right. Thank you so much for that. It's with life well lived by Mobile Steven. Now I have a guest on the show with me, Ron Dupart. He's been doing justice to what talk about food and beverage industry. Now, what did you ask? Do you have any project that you're working on presently? Yes, I have a few projects. I'm opening a restaurant in the uh, St. Martin, uh, Afro-Caribbean mm -hmm. cuisine. As you know, Afro-Caribbean cuisine is very virgin. Uh, not that many people go above and beyond to talk about mm -hmm. Afro-Caribbean cuisine. So that's my job. That's what I'm doing. And I have a new project, a new show. It's about bringing uh, immigrant food, immigrant chefs, mm -hmm. whether they are in Somalia or they're in the Middle East. How can we bring mm -hmm. immigrant food to the table? So we all can talk mm -hmm. about food. Food, uh, it's the passion of life and Food yeah. gives us voice, food is love, right. and food is everything. That's right. That's right. Thank you so much for that. Now, I wanted to ask, how has the COVID-19 pandemic impacted your industry, and what mechanisms did you put in place? Well, the COVID-19 have impacted a lot of us. Mm -hmm. As you know, uh, business is non-existence. 
So what mm -hmm. we do, we use a lot of money. We use more staff. Mm -hmm. We follow mm -hmm. the CDC guidelines, we follow the science. We make mm -hmm. sure there's more staff. Everybody wear masks, mm -hmm. gloves. We mm -hmm. sanitize. We close the kitchen mm -hmm. every hour just to clean, mm -hmm. just to make sure every touch point is covered. So that way we can control the epidemic and then we can move bigger, better, and stronger. That's right. That's right. Thank you so much for that. Do you have any parting words? Uh, it just, uh, we all have to be, to live life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. We all right. have to live every day as a last day because tomorrow right. is not guaranteed and we all have to be each other's brother's keepers. That's right. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ron yes. for coming on the show. I, I hope some other time that we can do this again. Okay. Thank you for having me. Yeah. It was yeah, a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. All right. Thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. It's an engaging and enlightening talk show on life, relationships, and the business of life. Grab a cup of juice and just chill. Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. Live life. Live fully.